सर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग यस यस गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल यस सर ओके ओके स्टार्ट्स नाउ टाइम टेल मी टेल मी अबाउट योरसेल्फ इन 5 मिनट्स एक्सेप्ट दोस व्हिच आर रिटन इन सीएफ so so my name is arpita mohanty i have passed my graduation in geology honors i have studied my post graduation in anamalai university i i have been preparing for the civil services exam for the last 5 years i am interested in painting and um, i would like to join the so i would like to join the service because of uh, i would like to join these services tell me who is your ideal ideal person and why so i my ideal person would be uh, mr kela satyarthi i like him because of his work he does in the in his ngo and for which he has won the nobel peace prize i like the work he does for the children who are abandoned and also for their development and for their education and he also provides a safe shelter for them and uh, he does it uh, out of his generosity and uh, because of his want for contributing to the society so i i think of him as a an inspiration what are the rights of a child in the indian constitution so in the fundamental according to the fundamental rights every child has the right to education and uh, also there is a right to equality all are to be treated as equal irrespective of their age gender caste uh, and in the fundamental duties the uh it is given that uh, no child uh, uh, below the age of 14 years is uh, supposed to do manual labor and uh, and uh, there should be compulsory education uh, for all okay which uh, <clears throat> what is the uh, status of uh, women empowerment in our state how can so, you say that women are empowered or not so the process is going on and uh, many schemes have been uh, devised in the uh, by the odisha government for the empowerment of women like the mission shakti scheme according to which uh, the women of the in the rural areas are being empowered by the self help groups they are being provided uh, collateral free loans by which they can uh, become self employed and also work for their betterment and there are also the asha workers who are sensitizing them about uh, different uh, things in the they should be aware like uh, and also various schemes uh, that help in the uh, uh, in nutrition process like this opan scheme which focuses on the nutrition of girls and women there are also the mid day meal schemes which ensure that uh, all should uh, attend the school but especially girls who will get the proper uh, nutritional value in their system and also come for studies okay name uh, minimum 3 indices index indices of niti aayog sorry sir i don't recollect now okay what is the equivalent of niti aayog in our state so the planning commission state planning commission <clears throat> which organization uh, brings out the economic survey uh, which department of government of uh, odisha brings, uh, brings out the economic survey so the ministry of finance i mean to say who who compiles it who publishes it so the economic survey is uh, laid down by the finance minister and is compiled by the statistical organization of india okay <clears throat> hmm. 
who is the woman uh, who is the uh, minister for mission shakti sorry sir i don't remember okay who is the minister for mass education sorry sir uh, what do you mean by booster dose why it is necessary in covid 19 the booster dose is uh, the vaccination process in covid 19 includes two doses uh, the first and the second dose after that the booster dose is basically the immunity dose that is given after a certain period of time so that the vaccine inside the body is uh, active so that it can fight off the covid 19 infection as the covid 19 is still ongoing the booster dose would help in keeping the infection at bay and also reduce the symptoms if someone gets the uh, virus uh, at any point of time okay have you any work experience with yourself no sir in the past what were you doing in you said uh, you said uh, anamalai what were you studying so i was so i was doing post graduation in geology doing post graduation in geology okay yes sir tell me how will like, this knowledge of geology can be helpful in civil services so our state odisha is a uh, is a state that is rich in minerals and uh, there are various chances of mining activities geology would give me a knowledge about the places which are rich in minerals and the contents and uh, how proper mining can be done in an area and also for the development also so the geology includes meteorology and climatology which is a big aspect that uh, as a uh, odisha is a state that is uh, that faces natural disasters so the combining knowledge of meteorology and uh, disaster management that is in geology would help me tackle the problems if uh, faced in any point of time also the also geology includes uh, the study of uh, topography of the region and geo and remote sensing because of the increase in the unnatural monsoon rains okay, and no. also i'm i'm uh, i'm, I'm, I'm uh, just i'm uh, stopping you uh, okay. in which uh, place uh, natural gas resources have been recently discovered and how will its discovery uh, can bring fortune to the state of odisha no sir i'm sorry okay second part of the question how will the discovery of natural gas bring fortune or economic development so natural gas is a non renewable source of energy which takes millions of years to uh, be generated uh, because of the presence of fossils and all it uh, helps in the part of uh, it gives uh, energy and uh, helps in the power consumption of the state and would help in the development in various areas of the state so discovery of natural gas as odisha would be dependent on other states uh, but now by the discovery of the natural gas it can help in the increase in the power consumption and the uh, provision for uh, other sectors like electricity and uh, generation of uh, power use of non renewable resources for energy consumption that's how it can help our state you okay, tell me how it will impact the international burden of energy sorry sir i couldn't hear you how will it impact the india's borrowing of natural gas and fuel consumption from outside will india be some self sufficient by this sir no because the amount of energy uh, that is consumed by india because of the huge population in our country is very high so we are dependent on other countries for uh, the for getting natural gas and petroleum uh, but by the discovery of these natural gas uh, provisions now the burden can be lessened a bit but it cannot be removed altogether okay sir i pass on to you sir what is your optional uh, uh, ankit so it's geology and so it's geology and home science what do you mean by home science the so home science and the science of uh, managing home in a scientific manner 
it uh, helps in studying the nutritional value of different foods and uh, how it's going to help the body it is it also includes community development and extension education okay what are the, what are the fourth recommendation for a diabetic patient so a diabetic patient should exercise a lot he should include a he should include a diet uh, that is rich in carbohydrates and fiber and uh, and it should uh, and the third is it should be less in sweets so that the sugar in the blood stream is uh, lessened and Where the four sweets come from like carbohydrate you mentioned carbohydrate he should take carbohydrate and he will how he will get the energy so energy yes. consumption should be medium in a diabetic patient uh, it comes it comes from okay. cereals it comes from cereals and fiber and dietary fibers that uh, should be increased in the diet of a diabetic patient he should take uh, carbohydrate or not uh, yes a good uh, carbohydrates can be taken by a diabetic patient Example. but not in a uh, sir so like um, uh, cereals which are rich in carbohydrates like millets ragi sweet is a, like sweet is full of carbohydrate why is he, he shouldn't take so because of the sugar content in the sweets like monosaccharides disaccharides okay what is type 2 diabetes so type 2 diabetes is a genetic uh, uh, that is uh, inherited by a uh, sorry sir it is an acquired diabetes diabetes type 1 is the type which is uh, because of the genetic so what is what is its feature so increase in the blood sugar level and there is a uh, the function of kidneys are reduced because of the diabetes type in type, type 1 it doesn't happen no sir it happens i'm not sure exactly right now okay what the like uh, why do you wear that spectacle what is the disease so i have myopia myopia yes sir. which lens you have used so i am using concave in concave lens the light reflects from normal to when the what is the principle so as i have myopia long sightedness so the image is formed uh, in my eyes uh, because of my loss of power it's formed uh, a bit uh, uh, farther than the retina so the uh, lens corrects it and the image is formed uh, in the eye lens uh, over the eyelid so that the image is corrected uh, and i can see properly okay Uh, like what is your district? Sir, Khurda. Khurda. What is its geologic geologic uh, significance? Sorry. Um, so it is uh, rich in fire clay, and it's uh, it also has many river valleys like Kuakai, uh, Daya Nadi, and it's made of uh, mostly condolites. and sandstone not sandstone condolites are available in condolite is types of uh, which rock type condolite is a type of uh, sedimentary rock sedimentary rock. so lithification uh, is held there or not in sedimentary rock lithification is uh, available or not Yes, a sedimentary rock show lithification. Okay. Okay, that's it from my side. I'll be asking more, but there are more. Sudip sir, have you completed? No, sir. So shall I ask now? Yes, yes. Okay, sir. So there is some problem with my camera, so I'll just uh, okay, ask. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll not appear on video. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so uh, tell me. Uh, it is said that in Odisha we produce a lot of graduates. 
whether it is in uh, commerce field or engineering but most of them are not employable they lack employability skills so what do you mean by this employability skills and what exactly we can do to make them employable so employability skill is the actual skill that is needed uh, to work in an organization or get employed the knowledge that has been imparted in the colleges uh, their book knowledge and uh, at times they are not uh, easily they do not make uh, one equipped to work uh, to become uh, to get a proper job and uh, for uh, that i th um, i think uh, skill development is uh, very much required and uh, the education should be revamped in such a way that it is helpful uh, for uh, not only to gain knowledge but also uh, become an all round education system is done like vocational education should be done so that uh, students are uh, equipped with more number of skills there should be more number of programs during the graduation uh, period like uh, extra courses can be introduced in colleges so that uh, they gain more knowledge uh, therefore the emma the chances of getting a job after graduation increases so what are the skills specifically i want to know what are the skills you're talking about you explained okay what what, what do you, would you just explain the concept but what are those specific skills i want to know so you, like uh, in ability. so like uh, knowledge about computers uh, or uh, there can be knowledge about uh, learning different languages which can give them a chance to know about uh, about getting government schools which are helping the students uh, score more in their curriculum and so i feel that in 5 years the situation the education situation in the state would uh, definitely improve a lot okay thank you then thank you that's it from my side thank you sir lavan sir has disconnected the word okay so sir i'll give my review sir Uh, yes, it. Pavan sir, John. Okay, okay. So my review is um, answers were very lengthy. Okay, so at one point of time it became boring as well. Some answers were too much stretched. So make sure that you don't stretch your answer too much. You should stretch it as much as you have the content. Okay, do not go beyond your content because when you don't have content and you are stretching it unnecessarily, it becomes boring. Okay, and many answers you skip. not in my case but in case of niranjan sir and plavan sir i found that you skipped many answers okay so that is not a good sign your communication skill is good uh, you speak really well fluency is good your dressing is also very good uh, but in terms of questions that i asked uh, i found that you lack clarity about education system because uh, about employability skill you didn't mention the most important employability skill that is soft skill communication skills problem solving skills leadership skills managerial skills means man management skills these are the skills that are lacking mainly computer skill is also there but uh, more than computer skills because computer skills are not very difficult to find right now today's youth are very much computer friendly most of them not all but most of them they are computer friendly they know the basics most of them okay but uh, these skills are lacking actually so you didn't mention these skills i think Uh, and most of your answers were answers were very confusing actually means there was no clarity regarding schools and colleges it was uh, i found it illogical it was uh, not very clear and very much confusing it showed that you you are not very much clear about this education system uh, education sector problems okay so please try to work on these area okay because okay, you sir. might be asked questions about education sector so you okay. should be prepared okay yeah. yes i will i would give you uh, Forty-five out of seventy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, all the best. Thank you, sir. Any view? Yes, sir. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. You are uh, born in speaking. Give us any comment afterwards. Just two minutes. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sorry, sir. Okay. You are good in speaking, but you lack certain facts. Uh, like I asked you about the child rights. You should have told that. Uh, right to education and uh, apart from that uh, right again right uh, exploitation of child labor yes 
prohibition of child labor these things are important apart from that all the basic fundamental rights are also applicable to them okay yes. you diverted from the topic and uh, when i, I was uh, i was expecting to you hear from you that once once a uh, once a natural gas source is discovered other gases will be discovered since the near the natural gas uh, source there is always a petroleum source isn't it yes so i expected that to hear from your geology student so offshore mining can be done it will uh, give fortune to the state and it will uh, moreover uh, lessen the dependence of fossil fuel from the foreign okay ma uh, certain uh, ministers and portfolios you couldn't tell so brush up on the fundamentals watch the video about portfolios and government scheme uh, and uh, be clear when is your interview sir 20th 20 yes sir okay very less than then go prepare i gave you 45 out of 50 thank you sir welcome artika your uh, my review will be your answer is somewhat lengthy and uh, not uh, also a code like they are uh, coming abruptly so uh, to improve that so you can write some basic value like what is your priority what should be past causes something so they, you need to work on that uh, overall you have uh, you have a good overall knowledge i haven't asked many question but overall you are good so i'll be suggesting you just uh, need to brush up your optional knowledge yes. along with uh, you need to know what what uh, what is your point of view like what is your take what should, what should you tell first what should you tell at last uh, you should make a priority list and that is my review like i'll be allocating 40 out of 60 thank you sir Sudip sir, can you sum up total? Monkey sir is not here. Sir, I didn't note uh, note down the total sir. Okay. Sorry, sir. My mark is forty five. You... Okay. Uh, uh, monkey sir is not here. And then sir, upon uh, you can give marks for monkey sir even forty five. Uh, I got sixty. Okay, like out of eighty, you can allocate. I will out out of eighty. I am allocating. Uh, I like it would be 60 60 okay. or 8, 55 55 only better okay and i'll be allocating out of 80 sir you will be eliminating out of 90 you are the personal department no sir you can ask the major i can take the major one then 90 90 no, no, no. Uh, okay take okay. i am giving allocating out of 80 out of 80 he will be okay. getting uh, he will be getting 55 Yes, other sir. you can I out, of 45, out of 90 45 out of uh, so 45 out of uh, 70 no no sir you are getting 80 na 80 80 90 80 okay 80, 80, 90 so, 90 so out of 80 i'll give her 55 55 so then from uh, out of 80 i will uh, give her uh, 80 90 out of 90 no, i will give her 60 Okay. Twelve plus seventeen. You got one seventy out of two fifty. Need to work more. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Do not delay. What is the major recommendation that other institution have given you? Yes. Major oh. recommendation. Hmm. What are the major recommendation other institution have given you? So they said my communication skill is good and uh, hmm. my subject knowledge is uh, good also. They said. So it is like positive. Like comment, any comment, negative thing they have mentioned? Ah uh, no, sir, I didn't get negative comments from them. Not negative, like I'm. Yeah, no, 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 sir. I, I, I understand. I, I mean, they said that uh, I should uh, like uh, my communicate. They talked about my communication skill and my uh, subject knowledge. Okay, okay. They didn't give any negative. They uh, praised you. Okay, like yeah, we are uh, taking this thing, uh, so you can walk up on this area. Yes, hope, sir, definitely. Uh, your interview will go right in the right direction. Hope you come in the list. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All the best Thanks. for our side. Thank you, sir.